guys, welcome to Mania Day 9. Uh, do not adjust your screens. It is snowing in May. I think Mother Nature's confused. I mean, statistically speaking, I think it's not that unusual to have it snow in May in Colorado, but we're kind of all in the spring mindset now. I want to do gardening. So, yeah. It's not supposed to last long, but it's cold. It's cold in my car today. Um, anyway, uh, oh, let me just uh, say thank you to everybody who's been leaving comments for, let's see, was it video number seven that I asked you to uh, uh, leave a comment about the projects that you were working on? Uh, I loved hearing about everybody's projects, and you're working on such a big variety of things, so it's pretty fun to read. I'm surprised nobody said diamond painting, though. I thought, I bet you there's somebody out there that's going to say they're working on a diamond painting, and there probably are. You just didn't leave a comment. Um, so yeah, thanks for leaving a comment about those. And then yesterday's video too, uh, in case you haven't noticed, I haven't left, I haven't responded to any of those comments because when was that video that I said, leave comments. I respond to them usually within 24 hours. Well, okay. That was before I was doing a video every single day <laughs> and, and trying to get the videos done every day and then edit the videos and then do all the other things I have to do with life and then try to get some stitching in so that I have something to show you. It hasn't left a lot of time for comments. So I really appreciate the comments. So I read every single one of them and, and I love them. So, and I will get back to, I, I will try to respond to all of them. Uh, let's see what we did. Um, uh, was there anything else I wanted to talk about? Um, all these things I think about when the camera's off and then you think I would make notes, but I don't, I like to fly by the seat of my pants. Um, if something comes to mind, I'll think about it. Um, so yeah, the last one that I worked, so let's get to the stitching since I didn't have any to show you yesterday. Oh, that is one thing I was going to say. I figured on those days where I take a free day, I'll give you something in exchange for not showing you any stitching. How does that sound? So keep your, keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, maybe I'll grab something from those charts I showed yesterday or, uh, something I have a stack of things I need to give away um so I don't know we'll, we'll surprise I'll surprise you okay the last whip I picked for day seven day day seven right because then I used day seven and day eight for this so it was orchids and hummingbirds by dimensions and I had started this a, quite a while ago it's a pretty old one um and I have to say, if I wasn't doing Stitch Mania, I would continue working on this one because I love, love, love it. And I'm just going to show you because those of you that work on Dimensions kits, this is all the floss that it came with, one card. So it's just not that big of a project. I mean, I've worked on, like when I did the Glory of Autumn or, you know, some of those really big ones, I can't even imagine, you know, it's like those uh, Bistro and Paris and, oh, all those big ones that you guys do. But yeah, this came with one card of floss. And, and the pattern's just not that, that big. And it's kind of surprising. I was looking at it and there's only, um, um, with the exception of, okay, first of all, there's no half stitches in this. If you can believe that the whole pattern does, there's not a single half stitch and almost everything calls for just two strands of floss, regular cross stitch with the exception of a, maybe four colors that it's one strand of, of, um, floss full cross. So that's very unusual for Dimensions kits. They didn't do the, you know, five, six, seven, ten bundles of floss, you know, um, not bundles, but uh, strands of floss. <laughs> no, they never do ten. They never do more than six, but still, I found that odd. So maybe it's, guys, I love this so much. I finished the butterfly. Let's get a close-up of that. those colors beautiful so I had just the outline of it and I filled in all the rest of the colors and did the back stitching and then ended up doing this greenery right here and this is the center of another flower that's getting ready to be stitched kind of in between the um, right here getting ready to stitch that so I would love to keep on working on this to at least do two more flowers but hence it is another day and it is stitch mania so Oh, let's hope I could get back to this one soon. 
I love it. I say that about all my projects, though. So, okay, we're five minutes in. So let's get started on tomorrow's, on picking tomorrow's project. Let me put this away. I don't think there was anything else I had to say about it. I am stitching it on 18 count, and that is what came with it in the kit. And, um, yeah, I think this one's hard to find. Somebody had left a comment saying that it was pretty expensive on eBay. So, but, you know, keep your eyes peeled if it's something you're looking for, because I, I know a lot of times those things come up and somebody sells one and they don't really know that it's in demand and you get a good deal on it. Okay, guys, I'm going to pick one today. Now, since it's snowing, was it just the other day? Oh, I said it's too hot and I'm not in the mood for Christmas, but I know I have two Christmas projects, two Christmas whips in there. Should I pick a Christmas one today, guys? And if you didn't watch my first video, I know there's two Christmas ones in there because they're the only two that aren't in project bags. They're in plastic, so I can feel them. And uh, so, and also, if you're joining me for the first time, this is the uh, this is my bin of whips right here. Let's see. Oops. Oh, I took a peek at that first one. Oh, I want to stitch that one. Okay, but it's we'll go we'll go with the Christmas one. So anyway, so. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that one I just I, I spied in the front. But I won't pick it since I looked at it. Okay, guys, let's go for a Christmas one. Let me feel for the plastic. One, two. Why do I have three ones? Three. Oh, my gosh. I feel I feel like four plastic bags in there. Now I'm not quite so sure I'm going to get a Christmas one. Okay, let's just pick this one and see what it is. Oops, I picked up two. Okay. Oh! Good. Oh, I was so happy I got this one because I know I'm almost done with this one. I accidentally grabbed two out of there, but I can see that one's not Christmas. So I'm going to stick that into the back of the pile. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is such a cute one. Now, I don't think I have the, the actual finished product project to show you because it was from a magazine. And I know you guys are probably going to ask me what magazine it's from. And I'll have to look on Instagram and I'll put it here. It's a just cross stitch magazine. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Let me put something behind it here. Okay, and hold on. Oh, let's see. Why did I think I was almost done with this? Two, four, six. There's only six reindeer. And there's supposed to be eight, right? Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen, and Rudolph. Why did I think I was almost done with this? I have two more reindeer to go. So, yeah, I probably won't get, I probably won't even get a whole reindeer done. Because I, I think they take a little bit longer than the amount of stitching time I have. So, oh my gosh, those are cute. Aren't they cute? So who do I have? Comet, Dasher, Rudolph, Vixen, Cupid, Blitzen. So, okay, guys. Oh, my gosh, those are so cute. Okay, I guess we'll be stitching reindeer for day nine. And uh, I'll check in with you tomorrow. Uh, I'll try not to take another free day tomorrow. But, yeah, I should have some stitching time today. So I should be able to work on this and then we'll be able to uh, continue with our regularly scheduled mania. And I guess that's it, guys. So wherever you are, whatever you're working on, enjoy, and we will check in tomorrow. Okay, bye, guys.